everyone, uh, this is Blair. So this is my last video for my PDP assignment, although it will not be the end of my physical fitness in my life. Uh, be sure to stick around during this video and watch as I sum up my project, uh, talk about what I've learned and where I plan to go from here. So I've got to teach and tea oppressively Can't let my privilege get the best of me so it is currently December 1st and my PDP has come to an end. Uh, I've completed written reflections, blog posts and video updates over the past three months and it is now time for me to reflect over the entire process. Um, I apologize if it seems like I'm reading off of a document because I am. I had to write down my points, what I want to say before I actually say them. Uh, so anyways, let's just continue on. The focus of my PDP seemed fairly simple at the start, and that was just being active. Um, after moving to Regina and attending university, I began to notice a significant drop in my physical fitness. Um, I was not involved in many sports, uh, phys ed classes, or even musicals. Uh, musicals I noticed in high school really kept me active, kept me fit, because I was dancing all the time. But once I moved to Regina, that kind of stopped and slowed down. As a matter of fact, I began to gain that freshman 15, if you will, and not even get 60 minutes of fitness in per week. Uh, this lack of fitness, combined with the lack of sleep and healthy eating, did not make for a very good second and third year university for me. Um, I began to see a decline in my emotional state, would often call my mom late at night crying that I didn't think I was cut out for university and that I was extremely stressed out. It was not until um, earlier this year, 2014, that I began to realize that a lack of physical fitness was all that it took for me to get back into the swing of things. Um, of course, no matter how fit I am, school and work will always stress me out. I always seem to get stressed out, that's a guarantee. But physical fitness has helped me to boost my confidence and happiness even more, and I really hope that this will continue. In February of this year, I decided to take a shot at marathon running and begin training to run my first marathon, a half marathon, in the fall of 2014. The training process was tough at times, and um, at some times too I wanted to quit, but I continued to work throughout the summer, and in September of 2014, I finished my first half marathon with a time of 2 hours and 26 minutes, which is about an average time for the average female of my age, but I was really ecstatic that I even finished and the feeling just gave me more motivation. A motivation to work hard, uh, to respect my body and to be a newer, healthier me. And that's how we got to my PDP project. Uh, in September of 2014, um, I set out a two and a half month plan, almost three month plan, and that plan was to be active. Um, I would keep a log of my physical fitness for the week and how it made me feel. I would upload videos to reflect and provide tips for being active, staying active, and I would post blog updates on my educational blog, crossingmybridge.wordpress.com, so that people could keep up with my progress. And on September 15th, I was off, the rocket was launched off into the atmosphere, and I was ready to go. The first week was fairly easy to say the least. Um, I was completing at-home workouts, going to the gym twice a week, starting to really eat healthy. But as October came around, uh, schoolwork and work obligations began to pop up. I was finding myself becoming increasingly more stressed and I noticed a slight drop in my motivation, not only my motivation to finish my homework, but a drop in my motivation to stay fit as well. Um, I continued to go to the gym, but my healthy eating started to decline. I often found myself binging on chips or eating a lot of takeout food, which is a nice treat every once in a while, but is not necessarily good for a lot of evening meals. Um, there was one thing that I was at least happy about throughout this, and that was my transportation to school. Every school day I would walk to the school. I'm uh, fairly close, live fairly close to the university, and so I do not have to drive. And it was a nice refresher in the mornings, um, even the cold, brisk winter mornings. Um, yes, they were cold, but they were also good for waking me up and getting my body ready for the day. So we move ahead, fast forward to the beginning of November, and I pushed myself to go to the gym and to go for runs even more. At this time, my schoolwork was becoming a little lighter, and I finally had a chance to catch up, if you will. I was even going for runs during my quick visits home to Esteban, and I felt that my emotional state was improving, and that I was actually starting to see a small physical difference in my body as well, so this made me feel very, very happy. And then on Remembrance Day weekend, uh, it rolled around, and I got sick. 
I missed a few days from work and a few classes from school. Now getting sick is never something that one can plan for and so I really had to um, work around it. I went to the gym very cautiously, obviously, on the days that I was at the school. I also did some at-home workouts, although they mainly um, consisted of stretches, light exercises, stuff like that. One thing that I did do while I was sick was drink plenty of water and get lots of rest. If there are two things that I can rec recommend for anyone to do while you're sick and trying to be active is that you should drink lots of fluids and get plenty of rest. I also, uh, here's a little bit of a plug, I also have a video on my YouTube channel that you can check out that is full of tips and tricks to use when you're sick. Anyways, flash forward to where we are today, and it is finally the end of the semester. Uh, my classes are coming to a close, and so is my PDP project. I enjoyed using the circuits at the gym, doing some at-home workouts at home, both strength and core training, checking out Zumba classes, and participating in physical activity whenever I could. Now, I say enjoyed in past tense because I really did enjoy incorporating these activities into my schedule, even if it was for a class project. However, um, I don't plan on keeping my motivation of being active in the past. Uh, with the new year coming up, I plan to set even higher goals for myself. By the end of this past semester, I was finally fulfilling the goal that I had set for myself in September, and I want to continue to set these goals for myself in the new year as well. One way to help keep me pumped up and motivated is this little ditty that I created um, over the weekend. So this is my motivational board. Um, I had created one of these back in high school and I remember um, making it and just really enjoying the process and so I decided to do one for myself now. Um, I recommend that everyone create one. You can have it on your desk, maybe your kitchen table, keep on your dresser, maybe a desk at work. Um, I plan to keep mine on my computer desk here at home. The best part about a motivational board is that you can make it however you want. If you only want a few quotes, you can just put a few quotes on there. If you want pictures of really toned abs and all fitness routines, you can also add that as well. Or if you're like me, um, you can put together a collage of all the things that motivate you to keep yourself in being active. So some of the things that you'll notice um, on my motivational board obviously are pictures of food, family, friends, and some fitness poses and movements as well. Um, by seeing this motivational board every morning, I will hopefully realize the things that I have to motivate me to reach my full potential in any type of active well-being. And in relating all of this to my future education classroom, I have many different things that I can say while looking back and reflecting on this process, but one of the main things is uh, I came up with three different things, and that was everyone can set a goal, everyone can work to the best of their ability, and everyone can be successful, not just in the classroom, not just at fitness, but in life in general. Um, in my future classroom, I hope to set goals with my students. No matter what the subject or topic is, I want my students to be able to visualize an end goal and work towards it. My job as a teacher is to be their supporter and friend during this journey towards their goal. Um, I had some great family and friends around me to help push me and help me in going towards my being active goal for the semester. Some of them without even realizing it and so as a teacher I need to be that supporter as well. In my future classroom, I want my students to work to the best of their abilities. Whenever I think of this, I think of that commercial um, that used to be on a kid's channel and it said, not everyone's good at everything, but everyone's good at something. Um, I always just think of that uh, commercial in particular because I believe that in my future classroom, every student will be different. They'll all have things that they're good at and things that they're not. But by incorporating their talents and um, abilities, they will be able to reach uh, their goals and try their hardest. And finally, in my future classroom, I believe that everyone can be successful. Not just in my classroom, but in every other community that they're part of as well. Um, yes, some students may seem to be more advanced or understand things more than others, but every student does have the ability to be successful. And I believe that the first step is to make mistakes. So I have this rock here um, that I recently received in a social studies class. Um, I wrote on my rock, do not be afraid to make mistakes. And I think that this is very relevant to my PDP project and to my future classroom as well. Uh, mankind is not perfect and we often make mistakes, which is exactly what makes us human. But what also makes us human is the ability to take these mistakes and to learn from them. 
I believe that in any classroom, um, especially a physical education one, students will and can make mistakes, but they need to realize that they can make these mistakes and that they are opportunities for them to grow as individuals. Some days we may make mistakes and that's okay, but I believe that we should never regret a day in our lives. Good days give us happiness, um, bad days give us experience, and both I believe are essential in life. So um, that is it to wrap up my PDP. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I hope to see you in any future videos and posts. If you want to check out my blog, um, it is down here below. Have yourself a good holiday season and I will see you in the new year.